Good afternoon. The purpose of this visual analytic is to look at the history of the U.S. dairy industry. We will look at the milk yield per cow per ye uh, year, the environmental impact, and how the dairy industry was able to meet the societal demand for milk. The first screen we're looking at is the year 1950. The average milk production in terms of pounds per cow per year was about 5,314. There were 22 million adult dairy cows, uh, consequently producing about 117 billion pounds of milk for society. The average farm size was six cows per herd. The milk yield in terms of pounds per acre was about uh, 3,700 pounds of milk. Now, if we look at what's happened over time, we can see that there's been a dramatic increase in yield per cow. This is due to a lot of uh, improvement in animal husbandry, nutrition, and health care. The veterinary profession has certainly been a part of that. We see that there's been a dramatic reduction in the number of, of dairy cows, going from 20 million now down to 9.3 million. And yet, societal demand for milk is now um, exceeding 200 billion pounds. And so the industry is able to meet this increased demand by the higher yield. The average number of cows per farm, about 157, and now we're producing about 15,000 pounds of milk uh, per acre of land. Now, if we look back, let's go back, and let's look at the environmental pollutants uh, per pound of milk produced. So here we're looking at models to estimate the methane, nitrogen, and phosphorus produced per pound of milk um, uh, that is eventually sold. Uh, the ration uh, behind the, um, uh, this model uh, changes the crude protein depending on the production level of the cow. So if we look at what's happening over time, we can see that uh, the amount of methane produced per pound of milk produced has gone dramatically and so has the nitrogen uh, that is not captured in, in milk. Uh, that uh, has decreased as well as the phosphorus. Um, even this um, nitrogen efficiency improvement is occurring even when we feed higher levels of protein in the diet. Uh, we could look at this um, from a per cow basis. And so if we look at environmental pollutants per cow, uh, again, here we see that pollutants per cow go up because, of course, the cow is eating a lot more feed and processing a lot more feed. However, at a societal level, the number of cows has dramatically reduced, and therefore that's why we see the, the, the drop in pollutants per pound of milk produced. Another thing to look at is the valuable resource of water that we use. Water is critical on the dairy. Um, it uh, is used to maintain the cow. As the cow increases in milk, uh, we have to have uh, more water used. There's water for the replacement animals. We also use water in the preparation of the cow and milking in terms of the cleaning the udder and the holding pen. And furthermore, there'll be a, a number of gallons used to clean the milk tanks, and that's going to be a function of herd size. So when we look at what's happened to water use in terms of gallons of water per cow per day and total use by the industry, as well as the ratio of water gallons to milk gallons, uh, we can see that over time, the, the amount of milk water consumed per cow has gone up as production has gone up, but the total amount used by the industry has gone down dramatically because of the great reduction in cow numbers, and therefore the ratio of water actually used on the farm to uh, milk produced has gone down, down to a ratio of 12. Uh, we can look at this from another model that actually looks at uh, how the water is being used in the different segments, uh, uh, what part is going to the animals in terms of their maintenance requirement, uh, what's going for product, and what's going for the replacement herd. So when we had 21 million uh, uh, dairy cows, um, or 22 million dairy cows in 1950, a lot of the water was used just to maintain that large herd and of course, not only the milking cows, but the replacement heifers behind those, uh, those cows. And so we can see what proportion was going into actual milk. Uh, the parlors, we had many, many farms because we had so many, um, uh, so low cow numbers per farm. And so a lot of water was used in the milking parlors and, and facilities. 
Uh, if we watch what's happened over time, we see a reduction on all frontiers. Uh, the amount going into to milk has gone up because we're capturing more water in milk. But because of the reduction in animal numbers, the total that's going into animals ha has reduced dramatically. And furthermore, because our farm sizes have structurally changed over time, uh, we see a more efficient use of water on those facilities. I hope that you found this uh, uh, information um, informative on how the dairy industry has really uh, made some incredible uh, uh, increases in efficiency that are really beneficial to society. Uh, thank you very much.